it's a beautiful sunny day, Super Bowl Sunday 2021. Um, so today is uh, the eighth day of owning this car. So, so far I've uh, detailed the engine out. I've given it a complete clay bar wax job. I cleaned all the inside, the windows, everything. I detailed the center caps, um, cleaned the tires up. I've put new uh, license plate holders on there. What else have I done? I went and had it emission tested. And today, one of the last few remaining things is uh, this wonderful, this wonderful area, man. This paint just, it just blows off with a garden hose for if it gets under the, under the edge. So I'm just gonna start out with a, uh, just wet and dry, got 400. And I got 320 to get the, this goobery paint off. And once I get it sanded down, then I'll mask it off, prime it. And I'm just, today I'm just gonna use, uh, I have white spray paint, Rust-Oleum. I'm just gonna just kind of protect this area until springtime, until I get a consistent, nice, fairly warm weather in the 80s. And I got it, uh, Sand it down. Kind of reduce the edges a little bit. I'll hopefully just paint this whole corner right here. That paint just wants to just... You could peel the whole thing off. It just wants to come off. I don't know, I don't know what it is about trunks. My son's trunk is messed up too. Okay, it's another day. It is May 2021. And uh, I'm going to work on uh, doing a little paint correction. Um, I got this uh, one spot here, right here. And right here. I just used Rust-Oleum paint several months ago, and, and it doesn't, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not, it's not the best. It kind of sticks out. Um, and I finally got, let's see, I finally got uh, my uh, paint that I waited a month for. Forty-one dollars with paint. Automotive touch-up off the internet. I bought it before for an old truck I had. It was a really good match. There's a base coat, sixty-six forty. Supposed to be performance white, and then a gloss clear coat. Yeah, forty-one dollars. Took forever to get here. I had to call him and go, what's the deal? Oh, they're mixing it. I go, how hard is that? <laughs> like a month. Anyway, so I'm just going to uh, sand it down a little bit. Maybe throw some primer over it. So the paint sticks real good. Let it uh, flash off the base coat and then throw some clear coat 15 minutes later. Hopefully that works and then uh, let it dry and then I can maybe color sand it to match. We'll see, we'll not be perfect, but better than nothing, right? So I uh, wet sanded it, primed it, sanded it again. It's ready for some, uh, ready for some uh, first coat of uh, white paint. I just used this uh, cardboard to hold it up. It's kind of windy, so I'm not gonna, Take the whole car off and, you know, do that. Any dried paint flex will come off with uh, the clay bar, which I'm going to probably do again to the car. I need to put another thick coat of wax on it. Got the first, uh, first coat on, light coat. 
that it's set up. I think it's, uh, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes. Let it get tacky. We'll start adding some more coats to it. Got a second coat on. Starting to look better right here. Got to put a couple more coats on. Yeah. Hopefully it's matching. Okay, I've got three coats on. Starting to look, I don't know, it looks pretty good. Yeah. So I'll wait 30 minutes and then I'll spray clear. And then, uh, it's not gonna be perfect, like I said, but once it, everything's all real dry and everything, I'll color sand the edges and buff a little bit, hopefully. Well, I'm done for the day. I did a little, little bit of polishing right there, right around there. It's not an exact match, but you know what? It's not, it's not horrible. I mean, uh, can you tell? I know the top is going to need a little bit more work. And you can see where it's spray painted. I'm going to have to wet sand it when this fully cures. I didn't want to do too much. I just wanted to get some of this overspray off, which, which I accomplished. This, this one, it's really hard to get to. I'm gonna have to do it over again. But for now, there's there's edges. And uh, I don't know if I can color sand that out or not. It's not a complete match. Maybe it just needs to dry up a little bit. What paint is 15 years old, so what are you gonna do, you know? But, uh, <laughs> and look, I had some tape right here. Just pulled the paint right off, so this paint's pretty thin. There were some ragged edges along here, and it'll start in another six months, it'll start peeling up and stuff, you know. So I'm just gonna baby it for now. I don't really want to spend any money on paint, but for now, it's not too, too shabby. So, uh, let's see, what else do I have to do to this car? See, I think I'm going to remove that compass that's uh, up on the rear view mirror and it's like glued onto the, it's glued onto the, uh, the windshield. This, this thing, the wires are all kind of frayed and stuff. And I don't really care about a compass. I have an iPhone if I need to know where I'm at. You know, I guess back in 2006, hey, that's high tech. Let's put a compass in there. So, we'll see what happens if I disconnect that. All kinds of flashing warning buzzers will go off. Your compass is not working. So, anyways, for now, uh, what else? Um, I would like to get new emblems for right here. I was thinking of those red ones that they sell. Um, Right there and in the front, it would look kind of good because you got you got red, white, red. That would look pretty good on a white car, black car too, probably. Um, what else? Eventually, I want to get a double DIN for this for the dashboard. That uh, backup camera, man, cannot live without it. If you have one of these cars, get one installed. It just, I mean, it could be pitch dark out and the thing will, you'll be able to see almost like it's daytime. You know, I don't even use the mirrors, I just use the backup camera. But for now, we've got one more thing done. Stop the cancer, stop it later.